the fact that it is really really true it's very difficult to compete with them because even before you could even kick a ball against Mamlu Sundowns they've already beaten you in the market because the quality that they have on the side it's very difficult to compete with them Eric Tinta has also said that that uh, it's very difficult to challenge Mamlu Sundowns because of the contract that they have within the squad you know those things they play a major role <music> Hello football edits, welcome to Let's Talk Football, Pitola Kakitato Sotit, otherwise known as TT, the former attacking midfielder of Hellenic and Abad Ulusi, African Wanderer. So if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe so that you can get more content like this and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So we start off with U coach Gordon Egerson, the former Mamelodi Sundowns coach, former Orlando Pirates, Manning Rangers and Santos. This is a coach that has won four titles with four different teams and two of those teams are no more this is an experienced coach who has also coached in Bafana Bafana was close to winning a league with Morocco Soilos back in 2012 coach Gordon Egerson has insisted that um, Supersport United, Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs will end the dominance of Mamelodi Sundowns this coming season he said, I think this season is going to be interesting. I think the rest of the team have said, you know what? We need to allow we need not to allow one team to dictate the league. Sundowns have dominated for years. It's high time they all rise up and put an end to it. Gavin Hunt can challenge for a league title. I mean he's an experienced coach. He has done it before. Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pies have also gotten into the situation where they also want to challenge. Obviously, um, the statement like this being said by a former Mamelodi Sundowns coach um, will be will seem not not like being biased. Um, I think a lot of people, a lot of people have also stated Unkulego. A lot of people with Unkulego also have stated that um, they don't want to see one team dominate or winning the title like for six, eight consecutive years like it happens a Bundesliga <laughs> um, Gordon Egerson is one of those coaches who has evaluated the situation and saw how the all the teams have uh, done their business in the market but it's quite it, 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 to be quite honest it's very difficult because when you consider how Sundowns have been consistent and how they have been uh, consistent in buying players reinforcing the squad whether they win the league title or what they've always reinstated their squad to refresh that winning mentality so that players don't get tired of winning now they've bought a 20 million player Otapelo Maseko exceptional player they've also bought a Brazilian if I'm yeah a Brazilian player which it's something other teams cannot do Kevin Hunt has stated that it is very difficult to challenge Imam Sundowns I'm not sure if he said that statement based on the fact that he wants to take pressure out of his players or the fact that it is really really true it's very difficult to compete with them because even before you could even kick a ball against Mamu Sundowns they've already beaten you in the market because the quality that they have on the side it's very difficult to compete with them Eric Tinta has also said that that uh, it's very difficult to challenge Mamu Sundowns because of the contract that they have within the squad you know those things they play a major role in and in, in determining Wuti, how you're going to to do uh, on on the season you know because if you have obviously a big budget within your squad you are well able to bring big big quality players you know um but i mean i've always stated I, i've always i've always said even on my previous video that if there's a team that can challenge my sundowns for me as he has said as well is Orlando Pirates based on the squad that they have based on the quality um, the momentum that they have within the squad so for Kaiser Chiefs wise I think it will be putting pressure maybe yeah, for a trophy but for a league title I don't think that Kaiser Chiefs can be able to challenge Mamelodi Sundowns yes they might be tired they might want to challenge obviously as a big club but realistically I don't think it's possible uh, Super Sport they were close um, anything can happen with Kevin Hunt. We know that anything can happen with Kevin Hunt. They were close 
will they challenge maybe yeah but for in the long run i don't know because you you remember that super sport united they've lost two good players within the squad yes they've bought other players they've lost masanguaya they've also lost to tapelo maseko who were pivotal players within the squad of super sport united um orlando pirates for me i still say it's a team that can challenge e immobility sundowns um moving on to other news kaiser chief sporting director kaiser mtaung says any head coach of the club has the mandate i has the same mandate in which is to win trophies and qualify for kef inter club competition mtaung said the mandate if you are a head coach of kaiser chiefs it's always very clear win trophies win league titles it is be on our continent and you know we have a objectives of integrating youth and we have objective or objective objectives of mixing experience and youth he said when he was asked about expectations this season we have certain objectives from our side we want to meet and of course being a head coach of kaiser chiefs it is very clear you are to win and build something at the same time you are to win it is very clear we know where we want to be um back on the continent play continental football so you can't be a head coach of kaiser chiefs and not have their clarity this is what junior kanye has emphasized before that when you are there you need to win trophies not just win trophies but you need to win trophies play in a certain style of play you know um if you don't win trophies you, unfortunately you have to go which is what happened to adazwane even though they said okay we'll just demote you to uh being an assistant coach but if you do not win trophies there's no time of negotiating that we are playing well our fans don't want that that there, there has to be a clear objective as okaiza has said you win trophies if you don't win trophies you go it's the same in all other big clubs you don't win trophies at raja casablanca or wider casablanca or even cairo um al -Akhir. you go simply the mandate is simple like that win trophies in a certain style of play win trophies um being very presentive in your in in your style of play you know if you're not gonna win trophies or you're going to win trophies just like that then it's not good enough you know this is what the mandate of a kaiser chiefs is as ujuna has stated and umulu finteki also had an interview i'm very uh, pleased that he is much aware of what his objective is and unfortunately if you're not gonna meet those objectives then unfortunately you have to go that's 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 the story about being at a big club so Mulif Nseki had this to say on his interview on Radio 2000 he said some some might think I was sitting in the office but I was very involved in the development as well as the first team for the past two years and also helping other coaches I think this is what management saw hence I was given the position of head coach I think management was looking for someone more senior for this next journey for me I don't see any opportunity I don't see it as an opportunity but a huge privilege to be coaching a team like kaiser chiefs that's been around for longer than i've been born as for the mandate it's very simple we must start by delivering good performance which will produce good results and that will then lead us into competing for the league and returning to the cap Ch champions league that's the objective and our motto is to drive the objective as for how much time i've been given time is neither here or there you can be hired today and gone tomorrow. That's why I focus now must be putting on those good performance that will get us the desired results. In a transfer market, I can say we are done. We are, we, we, I, can, I can't say we are done yet. A lot of things can happen during the season. Injuries, loss of form. So we always have to be prepared for any eventuality. We will continue working hard to get the right uh, composition of the squad as a head of technical i was involved in aspects of recruitment of new players we didn't stop working during the off season i thought the new players who were given a run against younger last weekend handled themselves very well there are many positives said olifin Nseki on his interview with radio 2000 with otabu musia what i like about uh, the, the, the 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 interview that he made he did with radio 2000 is that he knows what his objective is he knows what is expected of him and as just like Lata has said and other people i think it's only fair to give him a chance he's already there 
might not have been an ideal candidate. I know Neil Tommy said it on he on the launch of Ikaiza Chiefs Jay-Z uh, two days ago that he doesn't know much about Mulefin Seiki, but he is there now. So you might as well give him a chance. Management saw something which we might have not seen. Obviously he was working within the background of everything was head of a technical team. Uh, he's a head of technical team now. He was the technical director at that time. Um, what I know about Omnifin Seiki in a personal is his contribution within the development side of football. We've seen that um, he was part of the youth development ASF Free State e Harmony. Harmony produced good players. Harmony is, even though it's, you can't compare with School of Excellence, but the players that they've been able to produce, they're exceptional players. Tapal Moran is one of those, those players who came from that development. He's been within the development structure of Isafa from under 17, under 20, under 23. So now he's at Kaiser Chiefs. It is only fair that we give him a chance. If you've seen how Kaiser Chiefs has been able to uh, promote good players to the first team the past two, three years, I mean, obviously he has that contribution within, within the club. So the mandate is very clear. You win the title, you play well within the title, you qualify for CAP Champions League. So yeah, this is what they, 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 that, that he said about his uh, mandate regarding a Kaiser Chiefs. Um, I'm going to say that our closing on Patusi Oba still as the agreement is in place with ETX Galaxy. Now it's left for a player to agree on personal terms according to e Rashford. It all if if it all goes through, Abbas will undergo medical at Mamlod Sundowns in the coming days. Obviously, a lot of people were not happy with this. Um, we know that it deal between ETX Galaxy and Orlando Pirates fell off. Um, a lot of fans were not happy. Some fans said um Obas is joining Umukwena, Mkulusi, Mbule, Siabi, my boy, and Miami. Sundowns will use him, especially after the departure of Andile Jali. But I am worried he will lose his place in the Bafana squad because he won't have a regular game time. Last John said, Last John said, end of the national call off. Yeah, yo. So Uzakel also had something to say. He said he'll struggle for a game time. They are, and then Sandi said they still have Umule, Kotze, Zume, who are still fighting to break into the first 11 yet as they still want to reinforce the same position let's wait and see how things pan out yeah this is a very difficult one if he's prepared to go and fight for his position he can go there i mean sundowns is not forcing him they'll put an offer on the table it depends on him whether he takes uh, the offer or not but what i don't want to see is uh him coming back after two years and say yeah sundowns didn't give him a chance and so and so you go there you must be confident to fight for your position if you don't get more game time then don't complain about sundowns this and this you went there knowing very well who you're going to fight for uh, uh for the position with within the squad so yeah gordon egerson has said do you think they can challenge mohammed sundowns it remains to be seen others good move to mohammed sundowns if he does accept the offer well i i don't know you tell me i'll see you on my next upload thank you